Ever sprinkle salt on your fries and not realize you're holding crystals from ancient seas? Most edible salt is a chemical compound called sodium chloride. By weight, it is about 40% sodium and 60% chloride. These are charged particles your body uses to move water, send nerve signals, and make muscles contract. So yes, your blood and body fluids are slightly salty all the time. Worldwide, only a small slice of all the salt we produce ends up on food. Most salt is used for things like de-icing roads in winter, treating water, and feeding chemical factories that turn salt into chlorine, plastics, paper, and more. Is all salt the same? Table salt is highly refined and often iodized to help prevent iodine deficiency and thyroid problems. Sea salt, rock salt, kosher salt, and pink Himalayan salt look and feel different, but they are mostly sodium chloride, and the tiny extra minerals change color and texture much more than they affect health. Why does salt make food taste better? Salt is one of our basic tastes, and it tones down bitterness, so sweetness and savory, umami flavors stand out more. But it is not the only flavor hero. Acid, sugar, fat, and umami also help food pop. Your body does need some sodium, just not huge amounts. Health organizations suggest adults stay around 2,000 milligrams of sodium a day, which is roughly what you get in one teaspoon of table salt. Many people go well over that, mainly from processed foods. And over time, that extra sodium tends to push blood pressure up and raise the risk of heart disease and stroke. We are not the only salt fans. Deer and other wildlife visit natural mineral licks and salt blocks to get sodium and trace minerals that support bones, antlers, and overall health. For humans, salt once meant serious power. Caravans hauled huge loads of salt across deserts to trade, and in some places solid bars of salt were used as money. The English word salary comes from the Latin salarium, related to sal, meaning salt, but historians have not found real evidence that Roman soldiers were literally paid in salt itself. That part is probably a modern myth, and that ring of salt on the floor to keep out evil spirits? Salt often shows up in protective rituals and in movies as a kind of magic barrier, but there is no scientific evidence that a circle of salt stops anything supernatural. What salt can reliably do is slow or stop the growth of many microbes, which is why salted and brined foods last much longer than fresh ones. If salt vanished tomorrow, food would taste flatter, preserved food would spoil faster, winter roads would be more dangerous, and without enough sodium in our bodies, nerves and muscles would eventually stop working properly. So next time you tap a little over dinner, remember, those tiny crystals quietly link your taste buds, your body chemistry, and a long salty history of trade, money, myths, and science.